So I'm doing a my like a mice experiment, and uh, it's been a while since I did a video. I've been kind of busy. Um, this is Brain right here. I have Binky up right now, or Pinky up right now. Uh, but so for the, I have two wild mice that I've been trying to tame, and I've been doing the taming kind of differently. I was gonna do it the same with these guys, but. Because uh, Pinky and Brain are from pet stores. Uh, they're in different uh, closures, so they are separated. And it, uh, the taming, I mean, it was going all right. Because uh, I was putting my hand in there with food to get them to come up to me. And Bubbles, which is the older wild female mouse, uh, she would come up to me and sniff me, but she wouldn't take the food or nothing. She wouldn't take anything. So that was kind of a bummer, but I would give them the treats every time that I would interact with them to kind of show them that like, Hey, I'm treats, you know, I'm the person that gives you your food and treats. And then that kind of just like stopped, like they lost interest because I, they realized that if I would still give them treats regardless if I interacted with them because they're super smart. So they kind of, stopped interacting um the biggest difference i noticed is that it took the female wild mice a couple weeks like almost a month to even make a actual nest like for the longest time they just half did it and just called it good <laughs> i was kind of concerned actually for a little bit and these guys uh immediately started making a nest like as soon as they got like put, got put into their enclosure, they picked a spot immediately and started making it. And at this point, they kind of have separate spots for an, as a nest. So, but they immediately started making a nest while the wild mice kind of didn't. And the difference too is that the wild mice, when they were you know did were making their nest or are started to, they would make it in the hidey holes that you would expect them to be making nests. Now these guys, I put in like a big kind of hidey hole with a bunch of stuff to make a good size nest in there. And I kind of have it set up to where the hidey holes to where I can't see them unless I peek my head over here. So they can feel a little bit more, I guess, you know, safer. But I can't see them. Uh, and I, you know, I thought that would be the spot that they would do it at. Uh, mainly for the fact that I wouldn't see them. And then I kind of have like the water area... And then, like, this little tunnel thing that goes into what I call, like, a courthouse, courtyard next to the little, uh, in, like, nesting area I thought was going to be their nest. And they chose the open area where the courthouse is, like, the courtyard. Because the courtyard I can, like, stick my hand straight into. So, I found that to be kind of interesting that they did that out in the open while the, the wild mice, as you expect, would have... You know, they made theirs in a more uh, enclosed section. Come on. Hey, Kronos, come on. Sorry, I got my dog inside while I'm making this video. Um, so I found that to be kind of interesting. Now, the, uh, the pet store mice were obviously easier to train. Come on. They were easier to, uh, I guess, to tame. Because <laughs> I was still working on it. But I'm thinking to do the method that I've been doing with the pet store mice. Because the pet store mice, I kind of just picked them up. Like, no fear, nothing. Just picked them up. But I'm thinking of doing that with the wild mice. To see uh, what happens with that. If they uh, would also be, you know, kind of like getting tamed easier. Because all these guys, all I did... Is held them for like a little bit, put them back in, took them back out, and then I just put them on my shoulder. And then after a moment, they stopped running from me when being on my shoulder to where I can remove them without having to chase them around my head worrying they're going to jump off. Now, like these guys, the wild mice, they're, they're great jumpers and great, like way faster than a pet store mouse. Like I've noticed this, they're way faster. I'm able to chase a pet store mouse in their cage, you know, in their enclosure, a lot easier than I'm able to do a, a wild mouse. Like, they're so quick. I'm having, I would have a heart, like, I don't even know how I'm going to change their enclosure 
at this moment which is like why I'm like left the dirt in there because I had dirt for like a turtle and I just put the mice you know wild mice in there and never changed the dirt and then I don't know how I'm gonna get them out of there at this moment because they're super quick but I'm gonna try to see if I can tame them that way to where it'd be easier to get them out but I'm gonna buy this thing online I found to where it's like a ball and like you can grab them that way and put them in the ball so I'm gonna probably get that too for them but yeah, I just wanted to make another video right now. Brain is in my hair. I'm going to try to make other videos too uh, for everybody with both of them. Since I don't, I only see like rat videos. I don't really see any mice videos. So I'm going to start making mice videos on top of my updates of my experiments. I mean, it's going to take a year. So I'm probably going to be doing this for years. But anyways, yeah, that's... I got four mice, two are pets that are in separate enclosure, and I have one more enclosure that's empty. Not, um, not pretty, I'm not sure if I'm just going to start putting, uh, cause I, I'm doing wild mice, pet store mice, and then mice from breeders. And I'm thinking of putting a breeder, a set of breeder mice in there, or I might, when I, the two wild mice that I have now, my plan is that when they become tame, I'm going to put them in a different enclosure to keep them separated from the from the rest of the wild mice that I catch. Right now, they have they know my scent, and they you know they know my scent pretty well, and they figured out that I've been setting traps. So they've been avoiding everything. So now I have to get new traps, uh, and when I open them, I have to wear gloves that don't have my scent on them, and. Uh, then I'm going to, when I set them up and put treats in them, I have to not have my scent on anything. So I have to wear gloves the entire time, which is a pain. But uh, then I will start being able to catch them again. So I'm, I'm thinking of making some, making another trap with the other empty enclosure because it's completely empty and so they wouldn't be able to get out and I'll just catch them in there and put them in with the other wild mice and just do it that way, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'll give updates. I don't know when I'll be making videos. I'm going to try to make a bunch in one day and, like, schedule them so there's more videos, but I just get really, really busy because I have a lot of going on in my life. But I, this is something I do often. I just don't have time to always make videos. So I'm going to try to make another video soon. But thank you for watching.